Hello students, welcome. In this English class, this English class is for grade 9 students. Today we are going to do the next lesson from unit 5. Today's lesson is about listening and speaking. Okay students, are you ready? Okay, please be ready with your paper and pencils and ready to take notes and speak today with me. Okay students? Okay, let's start today's lesson. Let's have a look at first exercise for speaking. Okay, before the speaking, let's try to exercise some of the pronunciation skill. Okay, students, so it's very useful exercise for your speaking skill. Have you seen such words when you study or when you speak? Please read this. Okay, you can see here, I and apostrophe and M, M, U and there are you know, in between uh, a sign, a, you know, uh, punctuation that is called apostrophe. Okay, students. Okay, students, now they are called, let me tell you, contracted forms in English. Okay, students, especially while speaking, while, you know, converse, you know doing conversation, you use contracted forms. We use contracted forms. And when we study, we also should sound like we are speaking by using contracted forms. And it is not like telling uh, or speaking the full words like I am. It is different. You have to say it in short way. So how we can say? We can say I'm your, his, sees, its, where, there, I've, I'd, they'll. Okay, have you tried? Can you try it once again? Yes. Am, your, his, sees, its, where, there, I've, I'd, they'll. Okay, so what are these words then? Do you know what is hidden inside these two or letters, these, you know, among these letters? Let me show you the form, full forms. Okay, we have contracted forms of these words like I am, you are, he is or he has. You have to understand whether it is he is or he has by looking at the sentence structure, sentence, other following words or verbs. Okay, students? So C is, C has for seeds. Okay? And it's is it is or it has we are for we are they are i have i had i would they will so these are the full forms it is usually written in uh, usually written in our paper or books but when we speak when we write dialogues when we express dialogues we have to use contracted forms these forms these forms makes your speaking fluent Okay, students, so you can say not I am a student, you can say I'm a student, I'm a student, you are my friend, you are my friend, you cannot say you are my friend, that is not a fluent speaking, right? So you have to sound more natural by saying you are my friend, you are my friend, or he's my friend, she's my friend, it's a dog, you have to say it's a dog, not it is a dog, it is a dog means it is a sentence, correct sentence, but in speaking, it is uh, not very uh, fluent and not natural. Okay, students, so these are the pronunciation skill you have to learn. Okay, now I'd like to take you to the exercise for speaking. You know, we have this speaking exercise. It's about apologizing and responding to an apology. We have already read a text about it, right? Do you remember that? Yes, it, it was about the saying sorry and its meanings in different cultures. In, in, in relation to American culture and Japanese culture, how they treat uh, saying I'm sorry in different way. That was the discussion in the reading text, right students? Okay, that was great understanding. Now let's try to speak. Let's try to say sorry. Saying sorry is 
very important for building our relationship, for you know, you know, repairing our relations, broken, damaged relations, and saying sorry helps you to be more polite and it will say that you are not uh, offending, you are not rude to others, okay? So it is a skill, social skill for speaking. So you have to develop saying sorry and there are many ways to say sorry. Then simply saying sorry is sometimes very monotonous. You can use variety of structures. Let's have a look at this situation. One person, one boy is asking for sorry, right? And uh, how does he or how he might say? Can you guess? Okay, let me show you here once uh, again another picture. Here the girl is saying, would you forgive me for my mistake? This is one way to ask for apology. You can say, as then simply saying sorry, it, sometimes it would be better to ask for sorry in, in a polite way. You can say, would you forgive me for my mistake? It's my fault. I'd like to apologize for myself. Uh, for apologize for myself for doing uh, something wrong, you can say. Uh, likewise, you can say also, uh, I would like to, or I'm extremely sorry, or you can say, I apologize, it was my fault, uh, it was very uh, unpleasant, or it was very rude to behave like that, I would like to say sorry, or I would like to apologize, and so on. There are many ways you can remember, you can uh, learn. Okay, now let's go further. What we have here is acting out the conversation from the textbook. Okay, students, are you ready? Okay, let's have a look at the lines in the conversation. Conversation one, Migma says, I hope you will forgive me for being late. I had a flat tire. Do you know what is flat tire? Let me show you picture, a picture here. This is called flat tire when your bicycles or your vehicle's tire is punctured, it, it is called flat tire. So when you have flat tire, you cannot be on time, okay? So Mingma is saying, I hope you will forgive me. I hope you will forgive me. This is one way to ask for, for you know, for apology. And Susan says, how to respond? You have to also learn to respond, How's, how he says, really? That's quite all right. That's quite all right. It can happen to anyone. It can happen to anyone. This is very simple way. This is very good way to say sometimes for you know, responding to the apology. And in second conversation, let's have a look at the conversation. Navina says, Binod, I'm sorry. I kept your book so long. Look at here in the picture. Uh, yes. And I didn't mean to keep it this amount of time. I kept your book so long, I didn't mean to keep it this amount of time. What is the response? How would you respond? Can you guess? Can you respond to it? Okay, let's see. No problem. Okay, you might have said that. No problem, I won't need it until next semester. So sales. Okay, not, uh, sorry, Binod is not using it until the next summer. So he says, it's no problem. No problem is another way. Conversation three, Kuber says, ouch, you hit me with your umbrella. Okay, when you hit someone with your umbrella and you have to apologize for that mistake. And what is your response? How would you respond? You say, it's okay. You can say, no problem. Uh, you can say, don't mention it. Uh, it happens sometimes, it happens. Okay, let's see what is there. Okay, that's the picture. Oh, you can say, I apologize. I was looking for another way through. Okay, so, uh, you know, when you have to apologize, you can say, I apologize and responding. Okay, it happens. Be careful when you are passing other people, passing the people. Okay, these are the ways of asking and responding to the apologies. Okay, so we have 
Now practice the conversation. I hope you have also done it. Now we will move to the exercise B. Here we have list of you know some structures here. So apologizing. Before that, I'd like to ask you for remembering the ways to apologize and respond to the apology, you know, apology, apology. Okay, so can you remember, I'll just write here, how to apologize. You simply say, yes, I'm sorry, as we have seen in the conversation. Or you can say, would you, would you forgive me, forgive me, Okay, this is how you can say an, in another way. You can simply say, please forgive me. Okay, what else do you remember? Can you list out these structures in your copy? Okay, you can do it. Okay, so I'll give you another answer for responding to an apology. How do you respond so you can simply say as we have discussed no problem no problem likewise you can say it happens it happens you can say no worries no worries you can simply say it's okay and so on so you can remember these kind of structures you might have used already or you have read somewhere or you can even ask someone who knows better okay students now we are going to look at some of these structures in our book and we will check our you know how much we have learned about asking apology asking for apology and apologizing Okay, let ha let's see the exercise B. So here, apologizing and responding uh, structures are given. You have situations to answer, ask and answer in the following exercise here. This is just the structures. Let me read it aloud. Make a uh, work in pairs, work in pairs. Make similar conversations for the given clues from A to F. I'll show you later here, A to F is given below. I'm going to show in the next slide. So there is, uh, there, are, there are situations, conversation clues uh, from A to F and choose the structures from the box. These are the structures given in the box. So what you have to use is that, I'm sorry, I'm sorry that I did, I'm sorry that I did some thing wrong today or you can say I'm sorry that I have eaten the chocolates that you have kept in your bag or I'm sorry that I said some rude words today likewise you can start apologizing it's my fault you can simply say oh friend it's my fault to say that or it's my fault, you can agree, or you can admit the, uh, uh, you know, the mistake. And oops, sorry, you can say, I should have, you can say, I should have spoken politely. I apologize for, you can add what you did. I apologize for, uh, you know, quarreling with you or fighting with you, fighting with my brother or, you know, talking loudly or, and so on. You have so many, uh, you know, such behavior. Sometimes we don't uh, notice and it happens and by mistake and you have to say sorry and these are the ways. And how to respond if someone asks for you for the apology? How to respond? Yes, you can say, that's okay. It happens. No problem. Don't worry about it. I forgive you. Okay, these are the ways we have to use. Now let's see the situations and clues. So 
took my bag, think it's mine. Okay, so you have the problem, sorry, your mistake is someone took uh, my bag and someone will say that later, I think, uh, I thought it's mine. Okay, so this is the situation. You have to ask, oh, you have taken my bag, you can say, and then the next person will say, oh, I'm sorry, I'm extremely sorry, I thought it was mine. Uh, you can say like that, and then the first, you know, person, bag owner will say, oh, it's uh, okay, no problem. Another situation, ate my biscuits, and that's, I uh, think the, it's mine. C, sat on my cat, think it's a pillow, took my newspaper, not realize it's yours, got off a bus and bumped into someone, I was in a hurry, tapped someone's shoulder who looked like your friend, uh, I thought my friend, I thought my friend. Okay, so let me explain this again. So it is, uh, there is someone mistakenly took the bag and there is another person who ate someone's biscuit and you sat on a cat and that was a mistake and another person read the newspaper uh, of someone else thinking that it was his or her and got up a bus and bumped, bumped means hit someone on the way and uh, you can say I was in a hurry and tapped someone's shoulder, you did it right? Sometimes you think that if someone is your friend and tap from behind, tap from behind and later you have, uh, you know that someone is his or see someone else and you say sorry or oh, I thought you were, you were my friend, I thought you were my friend and you say I'm extremely sorry. Okay, these are, these are the clues that you can use. Now, I'll, I would like to give you an example for how to create the conversation or how to speak. Here, I'm going to show you uh, by writing, but you can engage in speaking with your friends. Okay, students, you can also write note down for, you know, for earlier speaking skills. Now you have this clue. For example, let me show you this example spoke rudely, not mean to heart. Someone will say, you are speaking rudely, and then you will apologize and say, I didn't mean to heart. So how to create? Let's see. You can take the example from the you know, conversation that we have read from the previous, so previous, you know, uh, phase, previous phase. Here you have Navina and Binod talking. So you can say, uh, Binod, I'm sorry, I kept your book so long. Uh, here, Binod is saying no problem. You can you know, follow the same pattern or format and uh, say, like for example, Hi Ruby, I'm sorry I, that I spoke rudely. I didn't mean to hurt you. You can say, apologize for speaking rudely. A friend says, that's okay, it happens. Simply you can say, that's okay, it happens. So this is one example. Now you can create similar conversation with, uh, to these uh, situations to these clues. Okay, students, can you do this? Okay, now I would like to move to the next exercise that is also same thing, same kind of exercise for you know asking and responding to the apology. Now you have to work in pairs and take turns to say sorry and respond to your friend in the following situations. Now let's have a look at the situations once again. In the previous exercise, what did we have? We had clues. Now here we have full situation. What is the situation? Let me read it to you, okay? So A, you have eaten your friend's chocolates. Okay, you have eaten your friend's chocolates. B, you have just blown your nose in front of your friends. You have just blown your nose in front of your friends. That's a very uh, rude habit. And uh, you have to apologize for that. You didn't follow someone's instructions. You didn't follow instructions and you did something wrong or you went to some wrong way. And another one is D, uh, you have spilled someone's, someone's drink. Spilling is, you know, uh, making, uh, you know, spill over, falling someone's drink on the ground, and uh, you did that mistake while sitting. And you have to apologize for that. And you accidentally bumped into your friend. You accidentally bumping means hitting uh, someone uh, your friend. You kept someone waiting. You told someone to wait for you and you kept on waiting for a long time. Then 
normal way and you have arrived late at school you went to school late at, uh, late after 10 a.m and you have to apologize for teacher you forgot to bring your friend's notebook okay you uh, often you usually take your friend's notebooks to your home for reading and copying the answers right and when you don't return it back on time she will or he will be angry and you will you know apologize for forgetting to bring that notebook to your friend you stepped onto your friend's toe stepping means okay uh, pressing someone's toe with your leg foot okay these are the situations now again you have same same pattern you have to say hello friend i'm very sorry i ate chocolates that you have kept on your table and your friend will say oh that's okay no problem i have another uh, another chocolates as well i'll eat that okay you can say and for this you know for the second one how do you say you have just blown your nose you just realize that your friend is just by you oh i'm extremely sorry i didn't uh, i didn't uh, you know um, i didn't realize that you were here you can say that and your friend will say what will say what we uh, you know might he say he might say or she might say oh it happens and don't uh, no problem don't worry you can say and you didn't follow someone's instructions and you say oh i mistakenly went to some other areas uh, and you can you can say uh, your friend will say that you didn't follow my instructions and then you can say Oh, I really, I'm really sorry. I didn't uh, follow in your instructions. Okay, no problem. Okay, then you have that kind of respond. You have spilled someone else drink. Likewise, you can keep keep on keep on con you know making conversations, making dialogues in your you know friends with your friends and have a conversation. You can try it. Okay, students. Now let's. Have a look at the another exercise. I, I have one just one example before that. So work in pairs, take turns to say sorry and respond to your friend by following situation. You have eaten uh, your friend's chocolates. How you can say, let's see, would you forgive me for my mistake? Why, for what, my friend? I apologize for eating your chocolate that was left on the table. I couldn't stop myself. No problem, I wanted to give you already. Thank you, friend. Welcome. Likewise, you can have a conversation. Okay, students, is it helpful to you? Okay, please note it down and please do the similar conversation for the previous, you know, situations. Now let's look at this exercise. Uh, here we have structures you can say use. I feel sorry for what I did today. I apologize for uh, what I did today. I'm terribly sorry. I shouldn't have done something like that. Okay, these are the you know situations or these are the structures that you can use for your speaking, uh, for asking for apology and responding to the apology. Okay, students, please have a conversation in that situation with your friends in the school or at, or at your home with your family or your brothers and sisters. Now I'd like to take you to another exercise that is about listening exercise that we have right after the speaking exercise from your book in this unit from this unit five. Let me show you the first picture here. You can see the people. How many people are there? Yes, there are three people. And uh, please answer these questions here. Can you read it aloud? What could the people in the picture be talking about? Can you guess? Maybe talking about their career, maybe talking about their study, maybe talking about their planning for a holiday, All right? You can guess anything. Okay, very good. Now, another question is, what do you think when a friend forgets your name? When you are talking, sometimes we forget a friend's name. How do you apologize 
and what how do you feel when you forget someone's name okay it's a sometimes a very sad moment when you forget right you don't you needn't or you are not supposed to uh, forget a friend's name he or she might think that you have less interest about him or her so you have to feel sorry for that so we say oh i'm really sorry extremely sorry i forgot your name please could you tell me once you can say like that and the friends will probably say oh it's you, you can guess or you can try some names or you can or, or he or she can say oh you forgot my name no problem i'll tell you my name is ram sam sita hari and so he will or she will say likewise we have to respond ask okay for some information that we want now i would like you to listen to an audio file for having uh, similar ideas about listening or asking for permission and listening about uh, the conversation how conversation takes place about such mistakes about such you know problems how such uh, you know such problems or mistakes uh, are apologized or responded you can have the idea uh, let me play the audio file to you please be attentive to listen to the audio text first for the first time i'll play it for the three times for three times this in this lesson uh, in this first stage you have just have to get the idea of the whole listening text hi uh haven't we met before you look so familiar yeah we met on campus last week yeah, and you yeah. asked me the same question oh, oh really i'm sorry but i'm really terrible with names but 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 let me guess it's sherry right no but you got the first letter right i know i know it's on the tip of my tongue uh wait uh sandy susan nope so i was that memorable it wait wait it's sharon you got it and only on the fourth try so well Sher i mean sharon how are you not bad and what was your name it's ben but everyone calls me bj and uh what do you do a uh, Sh uh, sharon i'm a graduate student majoring in tesla a tesla what's that It stands for teaching English as a second language. I want to teach English to non-native speakers overseas. Oh yeah, I'm pretty good at that English grammar, you know, verbs and adjectives and uh hey, that sounds really exciting. And do you need some type of specific degree or experience to do that? I mean, could I do something like that? Well, most employers overseas are looking for someone who has at least a bachelor's degree and one or two years of experience. Oh. And what do you do? Are you a student on campus? Yeah, but um, I guess I'm mulling over the idea of going into accounting or international business, but I guess I'm leaning now towards a degree in marketing. Oh, uh, well I have to run. I have a class in 10 minutes. Oh, okay. And uh by the way, there's this uh dance on campus at the student center tonight and I uh, was wondering if you'd uh, you know like uh, to come along oh really well perhaps okay well bye okay students you have got the first idea about the listening text i think you have got what are they talking about what is the subject of the discussion and what who are the people talking now i'd like you to see some of the exercise questions uh, before we listen to the you know for the second time listen to the text for the second time let's see listen to the audio and choose the correct answer is the exercise here the you know exercises are the man uh, first made the woman at a where is the place the man apologizes for what is the cause not calling her or not remembering not remembering her name or being late the woman's name is the woman's name is what is the name Sharon, Sherry, Susan. The woman is majoring in management, engineering, and Tesla. Okay, now these are the questions. I hope you have read it thoroughly. Now let's me let me play it. Let me play the audio for the second time. You have to do the task, select the right answer while listening. Okay, students, are you ready? Okay, let's listen. Hi, uh, haven't we met before? You look so familiar. Yeah, we met on campus last week, yeah, and you yeah. asked me the same question. 
Oh, oh really? I'm sorry, but I'm really terrible with names. But, 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 let me guess. It's Sherry, right? No, but you got the first letter right. I know, I know. It's on the tip of my tongue. Uh, wait, uh, Sandy, Susan. Nope. So I was that memorable? It, wait, wait. It's Sharon. You got it. And only on the fourth try. So, well, Sher- I mean, Sharon, how are you? Not bad. And what was your name? It's Ben, but everyone calls me BJ. And uh, what do you do, uh, Sh- uh, Sharon? I'm a graduate student, majoring in Tessel. A Tessa? What's that? It stands for teaching English as a second language. I want to teach English to non-native speakers overseas. Oh yeah, I'm pretty good at that English grammar, you know, verbs and adjectives. And、uh, hey, that sounds really exciting. And do you need some type of specific degree or experience to do that? I mean, could I do something like that? Well, most employers overseas are looking for someone who has at least a bachelor's degree and one or two years of experience. Oh. And what do you do? Are you a student on campus? Yeah, but、uh, I guess I'm mulling over the idea of going into accounting or international business. But I guess I'm leaning now towards a degree in marketing. Oh, uh, well, I have to run. I have a class in ten minutes. Oh, okay. And、uh, by the way, there's this、uh, dance on campus at the student center tonight, and、uh, I was wondering if you'd.、Uh, You know, like、uh, to come along. Oh, really? Well, perhaps. Okay. Well, bye. Okay, dear students. Now we have listened to the audio for the second time, and we have guessed the meaning, like、uh, you know, the answer, like the man first met the woman at a campus. Is it right or wrong? You can listen to the audio once again and correct it. And、uh, another question: the man apologizes for. Not remembering her name, and the woman's name is Sharon. The woman is measuring in Tessel. Now I'd like to play the audio once again, and let's take the answer. Please correct your answers as well. If you have guessed something else, please listen to this audio once again for the last time. Hi,、uh, haven't we met before? You look so familiar. Yeah, we met on campus last week, yeah, and you、yeah. asked me the same question. Oh, oh, really? I'm sorry, but I'm really terrible with names. But, 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 let me guess. It's Sherry, right? No, but you got the first letter right. I know, I know. It's on the tip of my tongue.、Uh, wait,、uh, Sandy, Susan. Nope. So I was that memorable? It, wait, wait. It's Sharon. You got it, and only on the fourth try. So, well, Sher- I mean, Sharon. How are you? Not bad. And what was your name? It's Ben, but everyone calls me BJ. And、uh, what do you do, Sh-、uh, Sharon? I'm a graduate student, majoring in Tessel. A Tessa? What's that? It stands for teaching English as a second language. I want to teach English to non-native speakers overseas. Oh yeah, I'm pretty good at that English grammar, you know, verbs and adjectives. And、uh, hey, that sounds really exciting. And do you need some type of specific degree or experience to do that? I mean, could I do something like that? Well, most employers overseas are looking for someone who has at least a bachelor's degree and one or two years of experience. Oh. And what do you do? Are you a student on campus? Yeah, but、uh, I guess I'm mulling over the idea of going into accounting or international business. But I guess I'm leaning now towards a degree in marketing. Oh, uh, well, I have to run. I have a class in ten minutes. Oh, okay. And、uh, by the way, there's this、uh, dance on campus at the student center tonight, and、uh, I was wondering if you'd,、uh, you know, like、uh, to come along. Oh, really? Well, perhaps. Okay. Well, bye. All right, students. Now we have completed the answers, and these are the right, correct answers. Let me once again read to you. Campus is the first、uh, answer to the first sentence.、Uh, not remembering her name—that's the cause for apologizing. Sharon is the name of the woman. Woman, and、uh, she is measuring in Tessel. Okay, now we have completed listening exercise. Now we have the post activity. How do you apologize when you forget? When you、uh, forget your friend's name, who is talking to you? Suppose you you have you know meet your friend after a few days or a few after a few months, and you forgot your name and you forgot your friend's name. How would you? What would you day do, do? How would you say?、Uh, you know how would you ask for a apology? That's the question. How would you say? Can you guess now? Can you speak? Yes, we say, 
I'm really sorry, I forgot your name. Could you, uh, could you remind or could you tell me? Or you can also say, oh, forgive me, I forgot your name. Uh, or you can say, I apologize. Okay, so we have learned, right? So you can talk to your friend uh, or s practice this exercise, practice this you know, structure for doing something uh, wrong. Okay, students? All right, students, now we have come to the end of today's lesson. I hope you have learned some important things from this lesson as well. So see you in another video. Namaste for today.